Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson, and I hope you enjoy this message. Why should you guard your heart? What is the heart? The heart is where the blood penetrates, where the blood, where the center of a personal life. So I'm not talking about a physical heart. I'm talking about the depth of the heart. The Bible says in Proverbs 4.23, he said, Keep thy heart with all the diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Keep thy heart with all diligently, continually, for out of it are the issue of life. Why should you guard your heart? The heart is the center of your life. Your heart is deceptive. My first one is, now this is 10 reasons, and this is 10 facts about your heart. Number one, our heart is this despitefully wicked. Hallelujah. In Jeremiah 17 verse 9 say, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it? God. God knows our heart. Second reason, our heart reveal who we are. The Bible say, a good man out of the good church of his heart bring forth that which is good and evil out of the evil treasure of his heart bring forth that which is evil for the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. Third thing, don't let our heart condemn us or convict us. Glory to God. In 1 John 3.20, say, For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. Don't let your heart be wrong about our action. Let God be right all the time. The Bible says, The abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. Out of the heart is fornication, adultery, deceit. All things come from the heart. Fourth thing, our heart should have the word of God that we don't sin against God. That's why we must have the word in our heart. Not just in your hand, not just in your pocketbook or on your cell phone, but the Bible say in, in Psalms 119 verse 11, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against God. It called uh, memorization or meditation, not yoga. Hey, glory to God. Don't carry a, a mat under your arm. Carry the Bible under your arm. Hey, glory to God. Where our treasure is, there's our heart. Where's your treasure today? Is your treasure is in material things or is your treasure is in heaven? In Matthew 6, 21, For where your treasure is, there your heart be also. Hey, glory to God. And also, number six, trust the Lord with not just our mouth, but with all our heart. Trust not God with your things, but trust God with your heart. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all thy way, acknowledge. Back to the ABC plan, acknowledge him. Seven, let, let God create in us a pure heart. Let God give us a new heart. My friend, let God give your heart transplant. David say this prayer in his forgiveness when he commit adultery, when he steal, glory to God, man's wife, hey, glory to God. And Psalm 51 verse 10 say, create in me a a pure heart, O oh God, and renew a, a steadfast spirit within me. Eighth reason why you should guard your heart. Let God give us a confident heart. Glory to God. And it say, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. I do not give you as the world give. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. Let God give you that heart of confident, being confident of this very thing. He that begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the heart. Why you should guard your heart. Hey, 
you glory to God. Number nine reason, men heart fail because of fear event. Don't have a fearful heart. In Luke 21, 26 say, men heart fail them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on earth for the power of heaven shall be revealed, be shaken. Don't have a fearful heart. Be a, have a confident heart. Being confident. The Bible said men heart filled and they have a heart attack when they start seeing an event taking place in this world. Look at 9-11. People was having heart attack. People went in the bathroom and blow their brains out. And the tenth reason, only the pure in heart going to see God. Why should you guard your heart? Psalms 24 verse 4 say, For who has clean hands and pure heart, who does not trust in idols, nor swear by false God? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Why? You should guard your heart. Don't let everything come in your heart. Glory to God. Don't listen to music, melody that is damning your heart. You might have a heart attack. The Bible said, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Hey, glory to God. Jesus Christ said, let not your heart be troubled. He believed in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many mansions. Are you waiting? Glory to God. Don't lose your weight. W-A-I-T. Hey, glory to God. You lose your weight, you become overweight. Hey, glory to God. So I'm telling you why you should guard your heart. Subscribe to my video. May God bless you.